What's up everybody? Welcome to a, another day of Vlogmas. The sound might be bad in here because I am in my warehouse right now, but today's video is going to be a warehouse tour. So for those of you guys who don't know, I have a business called Arden Candle. I started this business when I was 15 years old, literally in my mom's garage. And then now, like six years later, I you know, I just kept going at it. I never gave up. Um, there were times where I was like in and out of it, but I never completely gave up, you know? I'm um, like, that persistence is what really got me here. But this year I got on TikTok and my business went super viral. We, right now at the time of me recording this video, have 820,000 followers on TikTok. So it's so crazy, but honestly, I feel like it happened at the perfect timing for me and my life. And I'm so glad that it didn't happen anytime sooner because I. I honestly wouldn't have been prepared for the growth that I had now and to get here. Everything that happens when it's supposed to happen, y'all. I'm telling you, it's, it's so crazy. But yeah, this is my warehouse. We're gonna do a little tour. I just um, walked over here because I wanted to show you guys some candles. So if you've ever seen any of these candles on TikTok, the best one, y'all, the best one, the best one is one s'more. And there's not a lot left. I highly, highly, highly recommend all y'all right now, go to the website. If this is still in stock, order it right now. It's so good. This is my favorite candle, probably of all time, honestly. Like, legit, the best. So here's some cereal candles. This is Cocoa Puffs, but yeah. So if you've ever seen the cereal candles on TikTok, that's me. We just got a shipment of glass that came in broken. That's unfortunate. We're gonna have to send this back or maybe not send it back. We might have to just toss it up. Recycle, of course, but. But yeah, all right, so let me show y'all the warehouse. So there's a downstairs part and there's an upstairs part. So right now I'm downstairs in the warehouse. Upstairs is the office suites. So you come in, there is a, we have a sign on our door. We just painted this wall orange, but there's a sign on the door. Then we have the big garage door because all of our, like when we order stuff now, it comes on pallets. So this is a pallet. So like it ain't, this ain't getting through a regular door. Like we have to use a forklift to move this. Yeah, and I remember making my first order and it was like, a, it came on pallets and it came to my mom's house and we're like, uh, how the heck do we get this in the house? So I had to unload the whole thing. But yeah, so you come in, there's the big garage door, this door, and then this is the door to go upstairs. So this is the warehouse. It is 5,000 square feet. And I'm so freaking grateful to have this. And honestly, it's kind of crazy because I didn't really want to have a warehouse, but everything just worked out exactly the way it was supposed to work out. And I'll tell y'all a little bit more about that when we get upstairs in the offices. But so yeah, so this is the warehouse and big shout out to my business partner because he secured this deal, got us a crazy deal on this, set all this up, everything you see right now, now it's his doing. Logistics is my weakness, but that's his strength. So he literally like set up all of this stuff. I just am the creator, obviously up with all the brilliant ideas and um, like the marketing behind everything. But all right, so you come over here. We'll start over here. We have our bathrooms, which are like, we literally just finished, but well, they're not finished yet. Obviously you can see, but we, we have been working so long on these bathrooms. Well, we haven't been working on it, but the plumbers have been taking forever. But so we got these tiles installed. I'll show y'all what the walls used to look like, but we got these tiles in. We got this sink installed, new toilet. We're gonna put a mirror right here over the sink. And then the other bathroom, we got this big plant. I can't remember what it's called, but I remember bringing it to my warehouse and it didn't fit in my business partner's car. So I had to put it in my truck, which I don't have anymore. So I got a new car, but okay, this is the second bathroom. What's, so this is what the walls looked like before. Just like kind of like crusty. It, well, it looked kind of worse, honestly, but so we got these towels installed, toilet, sink, all that good stuff. This whole place looked kind of crusty when we got here, but we fixed it up, made it ours, and you know, it's lit. All this was like just ugly, like crazy, like just pieces of wood, like it just looked like this. Like it was just kind of ugly, so we painted it black and white, even that little roof up there, painted that all black. And then our assistant, Emily, she decorated all of this with the Christmas stuff, so it's really cool, but this is our little kitchenette. This is where my team likes to take breaks, take their breaks here, or they like go to get lunch somewhere. So we got this, got a microwave for them, a fridge for people to store their lunch or whatever, little drying rack and some like dish supplies, coffee machine. This is like one of those tap sinks, so it's pretty cool. 
Yeah, it's really cool. So yeah, so this is the kitchenette. Got this little grass patch down here. And this was also all my business partner's design besides the Christmas stuff, like the Christmas tree and those lights and stuff. This is all his design. So yeah, then we'll come over here. We have like this little like room where employees can put like their purses, bags, all that kind of stuff. And then coats, you know, hang them up in here. Also have a little, oh, that's new, light, light fixture. We have a little uh, room, you know, little things in here. Some dirt for the plants. And then back here, we have all the cereal. So we make cereal candles. So the cereal sits in these bins. Also spoons for the cereal candles. And then just like some other like little storage for little stuff. This is wax. We have this giant wax and all the candle making supplies are back here. So we have this wax. These are all jars wax, bubble wrap, boxes up top, this forklift. We used to literally move everything around. Back here is where we have all of our fragrances lined up. Well, not all of them, but some of them. More jars. These are our new holiday boxes. They are so freaking nice. They come just like this, and you can literally gift them like as is. They're so bomb. But I will leave all this link below. Yeah, and then we have the crinkle paper that we filled them with. It's red and green. It's this is so cute. Like you can literally buy this and your Christmas gift is done. Like you literally, once it arrives, you just give it to them, say Merry Christmas. And it's it looks so nice because we like make it look really nice and everything. But there we go. More more jars, more jars, uh more jars, more jars, more gift boxes, wicks, wick stuff, cold packs for when we ship um orders in the summer to like Texas, Arizona, those hot states. We have cold packs and we keep them in the freezer. Okay, now let's go back so I can take you guys through the next section. So we're going back up to the front just so that you don't get confused because it's kind of big in here. All right, and this is more glass, like more jars, but we didn't want it to be too crowded back there. So we just, we have all this space up here. So we just put it up here. But so now, so that was, we just went all over that that whole wall, right? So now we're in the middle and then I'm, I'll do that side next. So we're in the middle. So this is our cereal like table. So this is the wax that we um, used to make the cereals. It's a different wax that is harder so that it like doesn't melt so easy for several reasons. Um, this is like how we melt all the wax. And then over here is like a table for us to work to do cereal stuff. See all this is all Fruit Loops. Same for this table. And then here we have a bunch of candles that need to be topped. So these are the candles that come in the gift box. It has a gold spoon and they have little cute like designs on them. And then this will become this once the candle is done. It looks like a bowl of Fruit Loops and it has a cute spoon. And I love it. I love it so much. That's this. And you see these are all candles that need to be topped. On these racks we have some a hot chocolate candle. This smells literally exactly like Swiss Miss. It's so good. And then this is the candle making section all back here in the middle. So we have a wax melter right here, space on this table to lay the jars out, prep them, all that kind of stuff. And then all this is candle making back here as well. So we have a bunch of jars that are like ready to go and they're making a big batch of snow place like home tomorrow. So the jars are all wicked, prepped, labeled, ready to go. Uh, and then we use this big old wax machine. We have two of them. This has a bunch of wax in it and this is how we make handles. Um, so they just get, the, it gets mixed up in there and then they pour them all in the jars. Um, and then we have more fragrances under these tables. Um, and then once again, another wax machine. Is this one on? But it's still melting. So boom, that's the middle section. And then we have like wigs, stuff like that right there. That's the middle section. Now we go to this side. So back here is where the inventory is. So a whole bunch of cereal candles all back here. Cereal, cereal, cereal. Then at the top we have like, like other like holiday candles, fall candles, all that type of stuff at the top. There's more candles back here. A bunch of boxes that are built. We just got these new boxes with our branding on it. So those are really nice. Um, but so a bunch of built boxes back here. Candles, more candles, more candles, more candles, more candles, more candles. And then all of our boxes are stacked up here and down here. We have a ton of boxes because for the holidays we need to be ready. You know what I'm saying? Well, we, we were ready because it's Black Friday. The holidays kind of, we're still in the holidays, but like we've gotten through the bulk of it, which is Black Friday, you know, Cyber Monday and all that. But then we have candles, 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 candles. And then we got Styles Desk. And then we have our warehouse managers like 
station. So this is where he prints shipping labels and all that kind of stuff. And then they ship everything on this table. So this is like the shipping table. Uh, and this is where the warehouse manager does his thing. He handles all his business on this computer right here, printing labels. I'm kind of standing far back because I don't want to be all up in the business, you know what I'm saying? All up in his uh, papers and whatnot. But so he like, these are like shipping labels. So he just prints off the shipping label and then they come over here, ship them. And then we be getting so many packages out the door. Like we'd be getting like three to 500 orders out in a day like it'd be crazy but i'm so happy and so proud that we have got to this place where we can do that because y'all people used to have to wait like a whole month to get their candles and now the fact that like for black friday for example we got half of the black friday orders out the next day on fr on uh, on saturday that was crazy like that was crazy you know i'm just so happy and proud that we're able to grow and you know be able to do this so that's the whole downstairs now we're going to go upstairs upstairs we have offices so this is our suite. So this is all ours, all of this. So not everything like, these are like other people's offices and whatnot, but this is ours. So we start out, we go up these little stairs right here. There's like a little, like roof. It's dark out here, but it's like rooftop access. This is a roof. So I don't know what they're gonna do with this, but a lot of people come out here to have phone conversations or I come out here a lot of times just to relax. Like not relax, but just like take a breath, you know, throughout the day, especially if I had a really busy day. It's nice to just come up on the rooftop and just take a breath, you know? So then I'm down and right here, we have a conference room. It's a really big conference room. We have meetings in here from time to time. And then, Right here, we have a printer. Got this sort of like lobby <laughs> foyer, foyer. <laughs> no, but so there's that. So this is my assistant, Emily, or well, our assistant, Emily. Her office, she always has candles burning, but this is her office, really cute. She made, she like really did it up. It's really nice in here. And then this one is just like a, nobody uses this right now. It's another little office. And then this is me, our business partner's office. That's his desk. And then this is my desk. I just have like this big calendar here. I don't really use it, but I just look at it. And then this is my whiteboard where I have all my content ideas and everything like that for social media, for like TikTok and stuff. And then I always have tea because, you know, my little pen holder. And it's also a phone holder too, but I never put my phone there. And then back here, we have a little shelf that has samples, all stuff that like hasn't come out yet. Or some of the stuff like we keep as like, um like an archive, like stuff that we have done. We just keep one of each here. And then this is like stuff that hasn't come out yet. But yeah, there's some paper down there. Or also stuff like testing these shiny labels, you know? So that's our office. And then this is my business partner's office. So he has several other businesses, one of them being, well, most of them being in fashion. So this is like his office, it's really nice. And he has a money tree in the corner. I have one of these too at my apartment. I wanna get more, that's his office. And then this is our little like kitchen upstairs. So. We have some candles up here, some dishes, microwave. There's like stuff in all these like fridges, ca cabinets. My Emily, our assistant, put me onto these LaCroix and I normally don't like just like seltzer water, but the peach one is actually pretty good. Like I'm not even gonna lie, the peach one is really good. And she told me to try the lemon lime. I might try it. Oh, this is lime mint, it's not lemon. Okay, I'm not gonna try that, but I'll take a peach one. She said she, she doesn't like the peach one, but I actually really like it a lot. But we have some cups up here. We got, you know, this for whenever we have little um, celebrations or whatever, when we have new lunches with our team or whatever, you know, I gotta have fun sometimes, you know. We're all grown here. <laughs> uh, we got some cups, a towel, sink, a coffee maker, and then a bunch of like, syrups and accessories and stuff or making tea or coffee or whatnot and then there's this like really long table then we have a bunch of little tables out here i like to work out here sometimes because i really love the like open thing like when i get my own house if i have a house with enough bedrooms where i can have an office i want like to set my desk up where my back is facing the wall not necessarily like i wouldn't want my desk to be like this where my front is facing the wall because it just feels so like closed off i would want my desk to be more like this or like this, where your back is facing the wall, so that it's like open in front of you, you know? That's kind of how I want to do it. But yeah, y'all, I can't wait to get my house, my first house. <laughs> but anyways, so this is our office, but yeah, y'all, and this is so crazy because it's like a 22 years old, like I'm like, have a whole, you know, I don't know how many, I don't remember how many square feet this upstairs part of our warehouse is, but 
like 22 years old, I've got 5,000 square foot warehouse, a whole office suite upstairs, conference room, all that. Like, and I couldn't have done all this without my business partner. So that's why I keep saying like, this. he doesn't like to be on camera and stuff, but I just be like, he is the goat for real, for real. Cause I, like I, he has so, he just brought so much experience to the table and was able to make it so that Art and Candle could really grow fast. You know, because I wouldn't have. Mm -mm. We would have been going real slow because I don't know what I'm doing, you know? So I'm so glad. But once again, that's that thing of us. I, I used to say all the time, I'm attracting the right people into my life, you know? And then, the, and then we ended up meeting and then our relationship started to evolve into what it is now. And it's just crazy. It almost seems like magic, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like how somebody else looking at me, it might be like, how in the world do you just keep finding the right people? Somebody actually asked me that before. It's like, where are you finding all these people? People. I'm like, I don't know. It just one thing leads to the next. The next thing you know, I met this person or that person. And it's just like, I mean, there is a, definitely a method to the madness. There are certain things that I do and certain principles that I live by that I feel like are the reasons why I keep having so much luck. You know, I don't know. I don't feel like luck is the right word because it takes work to, you know, be the type of person who can like sort of like attract all these things, right? Like always doing the right thing and being a good person and giving whenever you can or just giving all the time. You know, even if you don't have something physical to give you can always give a smile a hug good energy you know it's like there's a, a lot of things that i do on a regular basis that i feel like are the reasons why i'm so blessed you know and i'm gonna make a whole video about this because i feel like it could really help a lot of people but there are certain things over the years that i have done and are still doing that i feel like are the reasons why are a big part of the reason why i just keep winning like i keep winning like it, it's like it it doesn't make any sense sometimes, you know? Yeah, guys, so that's it. That's the warehouse tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe this video inspired you. Let me know if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as it really does support the channel. And if you're looking forward to more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. If you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok, you can follow me there at Kobe Lomax. And also, if you'd like to support my business, you can do so at ardentcandle.com. I'll have that link down below. And there will also be a little sticker at the end of the video, but yeah, thank you once again so, so, so much for watching my videos and I will see you in my next video.